Hello, my name is James Gale. I want to tell you about this fantastic program, Band in the Box. I am a blind user. And you say, how in the world can you use Band in the Box? Let me tell you what, Band in the Box is a program that is so profound and yet so simple, even I can do it. And I'm going to show you here in just a little bit how I do it. Anyway, my background, I was a road musician. And I my main thing was country music and played rock music. Been involved with music over 50 years and had the privilege of recording in Hollywood, California. At Lawrence Welk's studio with his producer and Nashville three times. And so I'm... I've had lots of experience with music. And so when when I used to record in these different places, that was really great, like Nashville or whatever. They I called it the Nashville Sound. And and when I recorded in other studios, like in little towns or a smaller town, I called it an ABC studio because you never got that sound. Well, let me tell you what, with Band in the Box. You have the Nashville sound, the Hollywood sound. You have got a professional sounding tool that, I mean, it, and, and you can play jazz style, funk. You can play country. You can change musicians. Uh, if you want a lead guitar player, a steel player, a fiddle player. It is one profound tool. And uh, there was a man named Peter Torpy. I used JAWS screen reader. And what you folks see on the screen, my screen reader tells me what's on the screen. And I had to go and learn uh, at a college all the Microsoft commands. And so I've learned a winner never quits and a quitter never wins. And so this, this music program is something. And see, I've used it for learning. You say, what kind of learning? Well, if you want to learn country style, it has lead players, steel pickers, fiddle players, and whatever you want to learn, uh, you can program that and get uh, with the style picker, which I love. It is really something. You can select country. You can select jazz. Bossa Nova, I just wrote a song uh, uh, that was with Bossa Nova's style music. And then you can select a, a solo musician on there. And then you type in the chords and it'll play right over the top. It'll do solo playing. And then what I, for, for learning, you can take, well, right now I'm, I'm going to be uh, playing you a little deal by Brent Mason. And anyway, so I program the chords in that I want. And if I want to know what would Brent play over the top of this chord? Well, I punch that chord in. I, I get the a groove I want, and then I listen to it. Then I take and record it on another machine I have, and then I can slow the speed down, and I can learn the licks Brent is playing over the top of them chords. And what's something, and I'm going to show you, if you regenerate the song again, Brent will play a whole bunch of new riffs. Hallelujah. And you say, uh, what kind of style of music are you doing now? I My main thing is Southern gospel. and uh, But I played on the road. We, we did rock and country. I played in the polka band. So I, I all kinds of styles of music. I love them. But anyway, it is fantastic. So if you and, and if you're a bass player, you want to learn a bass line, all you have to do is just type in the chords you want and get the kind of music you want to listen to and 
then you will hear the bass player and you can learn how to play bass just by listening to this. Just record it, break it down. It is fantastic. But what I use this thing for, believe it or not, I record in a studio. I work through this studio. I make custom projects. And, and I wished uh, I was out at the studio, but because of the corona epidemic right now, I'm doing this at home. And uh, I program songs. We get somebody who wants to do a recording. Uh, I'll listen to it. I'll break it down. I'll figure out how many measures of this. And uh, then I can take band in the box, find the style. And then I start punching in chords. Then I change the bass lines. Uh, it, it is amazing what you can do. You can put shots, they call it in here. On the drum, I can change the drum. Uh, you can put a different violin part. But my main part is to make the foundation of the recording. And then when I'm done, I send my band in the box file out to Nashville North Studio. And my friend that owns the studio also has band in the box. And he loads her up in his program. And then we go out in the studio and whatever parts, if it's voices we want to put on there, or if I want to play the guitar on the recording, we can do it. It is just a fantastic program. And educational, and then it also has a Helicon feature on here. And what you really need to do is go out to the band in the box, PG Music, and listen to all the videos they have, you'll be totally amazed. And what is so fantastic, I, I uh, learned about Pan in the Box, oh, probably in 2010 or whatever it was. And uh, I bought that program in 2014. It had real sounds. And the reason I knew about Pan in the Box was because I belonged to the Texas Fingerstyle Guitar Picking Club, and different ones in that uh, used band in the box. And I played for Fred Kelly Guitar Pick Company, and, and we did the Chet Atkins show uh, three years, and, and a lot of the boys down there used band in the box. And uh, because it is, it's a band behind you. If you want to go out and play, you can just use this band in the box and you have a whole band behind you. So that's how I learned about it. But anyway, I am going to demonstrate to you what I do. And so I'm gonna change uh, keyboards up here. Now I've already selected with uh, the style picker, Brent Mason, country, and uh, it, it, it is just something. And so if I'll, I'll just play you a little bit, and you'll hear my jaws be with the music. And uh, I'm sorry that it's not a great recording, uh, because right now we're at the corona, with the corona epidemic, and I can't work out at the studio. And so that's why I'm here at home like I mentioned. And so I'm going to go up and I'm going to hit the home key. Home. And it says home. You hear my screen reader say home. Okay, when I'm on home, I'm on bar one. So I have not typed in no chords. And so it's just going to play it straight. Space. Now I hit my space bar and it's going to start playing. See, and you'll hear it say uh, one, two. Every time it goes over a measure, it tells me what measure it is. So 
what I'm going to do is go back up to the home thing. Home. Bar and one. Beat one. When I, a... when I uh, write a song, here's what I do. Say if, the, if I was doing an intro, but I'm going to put some extra bars in here because I want you to hear how Brent picks in that. So I'm going to go and I'm going to type in the C chord. So here's C. Enter. Bar one. B3. Now that said, I'm on bar one, beat three. Now, if I wanted to type in another chord in that measure, I could type it in, but I don't. Enter bar two. Beat so one. now I'm on bar two, beat one. So I really want two measures of this song. So I'm going to hit it again. Bar two, beat three. Enter. And now I'm on bar three, and I'm going to type in A7. A. Seven, enter, bar three, B three, enter, bar four, B one. So now I want one more measure of that. And enter, bar five, B one. So now it tells me I'm on bar five, B one. So I'm going to type in D seven. D seven. Okay. Enter, bar, enter, bar six, B one, enter, enter, bar seven, B one. Okay, now I'm going to type in a G7. G7, enter, bar 7, B3, enter, bar 8, B1, enter, bar 8, B3, enter, bar 9, B1. So now I'm going to go back to C. C, enter. Where I started. Now, now that is an intro that I would use. So now I'm going to hit my F4 up here which will regenerate, will cause the thing to be formed, and it'll go through F4. a little process, and you'll, Bar nine, you'll hear three. it say things, and then pretty soon the drum will come to let me know it's starting. Here comes the drum. One, two, three, eight. Eight. So it, it Bar, tells five, me all that. One. So if I unload my jaws. Unloading jaws with jaws dialog. Enter. Man then you can hear it better. And I wish you could be in the room where I am so you could really hear how fantastic the sound is coming through my speakers. But uh, anyway, here we go. So I'm going to kick it back up at home. I And now here is it without the JAWS reader. Okay, now, Say I wanted to, uh, if I was uh, like when I was on the road and I was going to play behind the singer, and I already knew these licks he's playing, and I thought, boy, I like some different kind of licks. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the F4 key, and it's going to play a whole bunch of new licks Brent's recorded on Band in the Box. Now watch this. Okay, so I hit F4. Pretty soon you're going to hear it playing and hopefully you can hear it good enough and so that is the country sound and what's so fantastic, uh, I, I like uh, gypsy jazz, and you can do the same thing. And if you're a fiddle player, you can get new riffs off of that, whatever style you want. It is just one fantastic program. And guess what? The price is right. Anyway, thank you for listening to this video.